<laughs> well, I'm a Christian, um, and I'm just here today. I'm helping our kids with fentanyl overdose and drug abuse in the United States of America. But however, I would like to discuss my faith in Christ. Uh, about three years ago, I was sitting in my backyard when, you know, the Lord began to speak to me. It was like thoughts. I began to have thoughts about my life. You know, what do you want to do with your life? Where are you going with life? What do you want to achieve? And then I realized that, you know, I have simply not done anything good in life. And so the thoughts was persistent. And then I believe that it is the Lord. And he said to me, go pick up a Bible and read. At that time, you know, we didn't have a Bible in the house. But then I realized that at some point uh, we used to live in the hotel. And here in the U.S., the hotels put Bibles in, you know, the drawers and the closets. Yeah. I remember that, you know, we picked one of the Bibles and we brought it home when we got our new house. And so I began to look for the Bible back at home and God willing, I found it. I began to read it and then it completely changed my whole life. Uh, today, who I am today is 100% God. And, you know, like nobody on earth can convince me that uh, Jesus is not real. God is not real. You know, like 100% is me. Uh, one day I want to come to Germany. Hallelujah. Uh, Where my, do you want to come in Germany? You mentioned. Oh, I mentioned uh, the Franca Foundation. I want to come visit the Franca Foundation. Uh, I was, you know, I started learning a little bit about the history of the Franca Foundation. Mm-hmm. How uh, Franca uh, really built these orphanage homes and houses for the orphans, and also even for widows as well ah. uh, in Germany, in Europe. And, you know, he was taking care of all of these people doing a tremendous work of charity for God. And, you know, to this day, it still blows my mind when I think about it. Wow, you know, how can there be somebody so selfless as Franca, who usually, who use his own resources, his own money, not for self-gain, but really for you know, for the work of God. And, you know, I'm so inspired for, by the things that he did. Wow. And even to this day, you know, I just want to visit the front of foundation because it is one of my goals to build and replicate, you know, what he did in Germany back in my home country in Ghana. And so, um, yeah, that's the main reason why I'd like to visit Germany. And also, you know, hopefully I'd like to see, you know, visit more of the German churches and, you know, Sort of like getting taught with the community of Christians in Germany, and hopefully we can all share the love of Christ together and in happiness and in joy. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Prince, and I'm signing out. Thank you so much. Can you uh, one more question? You mentioned Müller. What did Müller have to do with uh, Frank? Yeah. So when I was studying about Müller, so all of these information I got from uh, Wikipedia. So Müller, I realized that, you know, Müller also was inspired by Franca. Müller also went about building uh, orphanage homes and houses. Uh, and really, it was more like an international thing that he was doing. Orphanage from all of Europe were coming to him for help. And he was also using his own money and his own resources. And so, you know, uh, I guess I'm not the only person that was inspired by what, you know, uh, Frank did, right? And so, yeah, Mueller, I mean, God really richly blessed him. And so uh, when I when I found out that somebody was able to replicate what Franca did, it just gave me more conviction and more confidence that, look, if somebody was able to do it, then I can also do it, right? And so that is what I'm looking forward to in the future. And I mean, Mueller, awesome man of God. We all have the same calling. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need more people like Mueller and Franca in this world. In a time where there is chaos, there are people being displaced from their home countries. There are a lot of refugees. There are a lot of orphans and widows. There are a lot of people who are suffering. Uh, in the hands of wars and torture, and they don't have a place to lay their heads, they don't have food to eat, they don't have shelter. Uh, I think that this is the right time for, you know, somebody to rise up and take upon themselves that position that Franca and Mueller once had here on earth, and, you know, say to themselves, look, I'm going to use my own money 
to you know build a shelter for the people all around the world that need a place to live because according to the bible the most important thing on earth is the life of a human being and if we are able to take care of one another we fulfill the first commandment of jesus christ in the new testament which says love the lord your god and love your neighbor as yourself thank you brother thank you so much for your testimony thank, thank you, you. Okay.